Imagine with me for a moment that a guy buys a smartphone and does nothing with it but make phone calls. No texting, no videos, no surfing the internet, no GPS, and no music. Nothing but phone calls. That'd be a huge waste of potential, right? And speaking of potential, there's probably a whole lot of it that's been untapped in your process measurement devices. But before we get to that, let's start with the basics. Process measurement is the collection of information from various types of sensors. They monitor, control, and diagnose the status of a piece of equipment or production process. A transmitter or transducer device converts the physical properties to an electrical signal for inclusion into a process control system. Some of you may remember the 1970s. <sighs> Although some of you may prefer not to. Regardless, in the 1970s, the 4 to 20 milliamp signal was adopted because of its high immunity to electromagnetic interference, its reliability over long cable runs, and its low power consumption. Today, the most widely used electrical signal in process automation remains the 4 to 20 milliamp signal. When a transducer measures a value like temperature, it's converted to an electrical signal proportional to that temperature. If the transducer is measuring the temperature of a tank of liquid, which normally ranges from 0 to 100 degrees Celsius, it will output a 4 milliamp signal when the temperature is 0 degrees and 20 milliamps if the temperature is 100 degrees. A signal less than 4 milliamps is commonly used to indicate a fault condition such as a wire or sensor break, while a signal higher than 20 milliamps indicates an overrange condition. So remember that guy's underutilized smartphone? Many users are making the same mistake with their process measurement devices, most of which are heart capable. HART is an acronym for Highway Addressable Remote Transducer, meaning that HART devices are smart instruments, and in fact, most 4 to 20 milliamp devices out there are already HART capable. But the fact is, less than 10% of HART devices are being utilized for their HART capability. The HART protocol uses Bell 202 frequency shift keying to superimpose digital communication signals at a low level on top of the 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Mm. <sighs> Seriously? Oh, I'm sorry, hold on. <sighs> Actually, this will work. Think of it as caller ID or digital data on a telephone landline. The 4 to 20 milliamp signal communicates the primary measured value while the digital signal contains information from the device, including device status, diagnostics, and measured or calculated values. Oh, and by the way, for the curious among you, a digital zero is represented by 2200 hertz and a digital one is represented by 1200 hertz. Heart enables you to collect more information about your equipment's health, efficiency, and reliability. The most basic use of heart allows you to configure your devices. Name your device with a device tag for easy identification. The measurement range, engineering units, and sensor type can also be selected. After the initial installation and configuration, the device can be calibrated to set the zero and span, trim the 4 to 20 milliamp signal, or account for other external sources of measurement error. Heart devices have lots of diagnostic data and can monitor the condition of your sensor or probe, which might be an early indicator of inaccurate measurements. It's also possible to detect a configuration error or operating mode which may lead to problems in the future. Most importantly, the availability of additional data can be used to determine the health of a large piece of equipment or the quality and efficiency of a process. And it all works together to help you avoid unplanned maintenance in the future. Most heart devices are multivariable, meaning they can provide multiple measurement values, although only the primary variable is represented by the 4 to 20 milliamp signal. The other variables are only available as digital data. For instance, pressure transmitters can provide the process pressure, absolute or gauge, and the ambient temperature. Differential pressure, static pressure, and ambient temperature are all provided by a differential pressure transmitter. Temperature transmitters may also provide process temperature, cold junction compensation values, and ambient temperature. Coriolis meters deliver information such as mass flow, density, and temperature. Lastly, valve positioners report information like the target and actual stem positions, actuator pressure, and output signal to actuator. Using heart technology, you can leverage intelligent device capabilities, decrease maintenance costs, increase system availability, and improve regulatory compliance. Fully utilizing heart data will help you reduce operating expenditures and increase availability. Unless you don't like to save money, You've already made the investment. Isn't it time to maximize the full potential of your heart data? To learn more about heart, go to phoenixcontact.com.